why did the coffee pot file a police report? Because it was mugged. We're up here on Highway 20 right now. We're en route for Cherokee, Iowa, where we are delivering a load of salsa out of uh, Alexandria, Indiana. Yep, he's still sleeping. It's that kind of a day, I think. Our temperature today, or at least sitting right now, is 78 degrees. It's kind of funny how things are working out with this weather. I mean, it's fall. So you're going to get that screwy temperature. Better be like 80, 90 during the day and 45, 50 at night. Which makes for some nice sleeping weather. Last night it wasn't too pleasant because we were running around 99% humidity. It never did rain, but... We got plenty of that humidity though. We're about 130, 140 miles from Cherokee. to be right on the line they might have biscuits and gravy so we're gonna stop and see if they have biscuits and gravy if I say biscuits and gravy enough times that means they're gonna have it so in that case biscuits and gravy biscuits and gravy biscuits and gravy biscuits and gravy jackpot we didn't say biscuits and gravy enough times they must have got it screwed up. I said biscuits and gravy a million times, but they had pizza. So maybe I was saying pizza, 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 pizza. There used to be a day where when he would ride with me in the truck, he'd stay by my side the whole time. And he still does if I tell him to. But now, I'm backing up this way, and he's going the complete opposite direction now. It is something about Sparky's here. We've been here so many times. He gets real, real comfortable here. But when I let him out, like when we went out to Indiana, he's not comfortable with all those uh, places that we stop by because most of them are dark and he hasn't been to them in a while so he does stick kind of close but here all bets are off
Go ahead. Say it. Yeah. That's a shiny hiney. Well, if you haven't guessed it yet, yeah, we made it to Cherokee. We've dropped off our loaded trailer. We've hooked on our empty trailer. We're gonna pull back over here to the guard shack, show them the little piece of paper. They're gonna look in the trailer, make sure it's not uh, got anything in it it shouldn't have in it. And then we're gonna buzz through Cherokee and make our way towards home. Maybe I'll show you guys a completed garage. Well, the outside of a completed garage. I still gotta get the inside uh, boarded up, wired, and the garage door is up, but that's all happening this weekend. Well, the, the wiring portion's happening this weekend. Cherokee is just one of those cool towns. It actually does have a dedicated truck route. I mean, they don't outlaw you to be inside their town if you caught my last video. But they don't outlaw you to be in town. You can come through town. You just have to go through the stoplights and go through the downtown area. If you know the area, man, go through the town. You get to see more things. You go through stoplights, but at least you get to see some cool old buildings. I like it. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't. This time I do. I'm still heartbroken. Biscuits and gravy. Is anybody else hungry for biscuits and gravy now? I know, I'm starving for them. See that? We had a traffic jam in Mapleton. Anytime there's more than three vehicles at the stop sign, that's considered a traffic jam.
Got to make sure I take all of my unused hangers into the house. Warden says I'm keeping too many hangers. I didn't know we were in a hanger shortage like chocolate milk. Has everybody heard of uh, Life 360? It's where your loved ones, your family can track you. And, well, it's gotten to the point. I don't think I need to put a text out saying who's gonna come get me. Come on. Because I think I see Uber Dad. Oh, I thought I seen him. What do you do, leave town? Opie, let her come here. I got stuff I need to carry. Opie, come on. Opie. Millie. Come on, Opie. Come on, Opie. Mom. Are you in pajamas? <laughs> I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I've seen Dad. <laughs> oh, he went out, out of town. Yeah, he country. went out to the country. I've yeah. seen him coming down the road. Yeah. I was like, oh, Dad already knows I'm here. And then i seen he had the farm truck. I'm like, wow, he must have cleaned the farm truck out. There must be room for me and Opie in Dad, there Dad, don't now. clean nothing out. <laughs> There's barely room for him to sit. No, Dad, you need to clean your farm truck up. Yes. Yes. That's all right. I can count on my mommy. I didn't even try getting a hold of my kids because <laughs> it's a failed attempt. I was going to say, Paige ain't home, I don't think. No. She was, but she's gone. I, I don't think she is either. I don't think uh, any of them are. Good Lord, Mom. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Holy smokes. I got to stop here. Yeah, that's a semi. <laughs> Please don't go. Please. Yeah, car, car versus somebody good. Holy smokes, come flying up top of this hill like a Mach 20. You should have seen the traffic jam there was here a little bit ago. Really? Yeah, there was like five cars at the stop sign. It was crazy. <laughs> Hang on, Opie. Hang on, man. He's the kind of dog that you'd want to take on vacation. He don't cry or whimper or do anything to look at the Millie used to whine. Not much, just a little bit. Well, she used to. Well, that's just because Dad was driving. Well, after riding with you, I'm kind of terrified. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> I haven't ridden with you in a long time. I don't go very fast. I use my blinkers. Oh, okay. Okay, We're, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to ask how you did that. Oh. Come on. All right. Love you, Mommy. Love you. See you later. Bye, Opie. You going to say bye back? <laughs> Dad, I'm home. Mm, look at that grass. It's Jaxie, baby. All right. Hey, I'm coming this way. You big, lovable lug, you. <laughs> He's like, rub it. Rub my butt. Rub my butt, Dad. You gotta hold still for me to rub your butt. My ears work too. His ears are going nuts on him. We need to, uh, well, we clean them. We clean them all the time. But I'm thinking I need to go stop and get some medicine for his ears. Oh, you wanna see that? Got a lot of wiring that's going to happen this weekend. This right here is a 32 feet across by 30 feet deep. Got it mapped out already. The Harley's going to go right there. My wall mounted vacuum cleaner is going to go right there. 
uh, something was going to go over there. This is where either the dually or one of the kids' cars will go. Sarah gets this spot. Workbench is up there by the styrofoam. Heater goes up there. Air compressor gets built into the wall right there where the insulation's at. All these plans. We have rocks still. I didn't put a driveway in front of it. Everything's just too expensive. So just to get this, I had to spend some bank so I didn't budget in the concrete for it. That's for first class right there. Maybe someday we'll build a separate garage on before we can back the semi in. But as for right now, that's what it is. There you go. You got a tour of the garage. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to go over and check out Uber Dad's merch on the website. It's actually merchandise for the channel, but we've decided to call it Uber Dad's merch because he is in charge of everything. Everything that has to do with merchandise is all dad. It gives him some something to do, some running around stuff. It's all dad. So go check that out, truckingwithschmidt.com. Plus he has some blogs and some uh, pictures and all kinds of cool stuff on there. You guys stay safe. As always, I'll see you next time. Dude, you could have told me I had mail. That's a center beam for the grill on first class. Mine went missing. This is the new one, or the uh, replacement. Trucking Together sent that to me. YouTube channel, Trucking Together sent that to me. And they sent me stickers. Trucking together, Fancy Hawk. Ah, and that beautiful Pete that Alice was driving.